Hey, and I'm back. I know it's been a minute. I still haven't gotten to the old video. Today is Saturday. And why is it that whatever I have planned in my head, things that I want to accomplish, I'm like, Joy, you going to get to the library today at 10 o'clock? It is now 2.15. I ain't do any of those things that I said I wanted to do. Nothing. So now I'm about to go in this post office and mail a care package to Bobby. Let's see what I'm gonna pack for her. And I found a post office that stays open till four o'clock on a Saturday. So let's see if they're open. So come with me to see what I got her. And my tripod, I left my tripod at school. <coughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay, so I made it to the post office and I'm glad. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And um, I have a whole bunch of stuff here that I need to pack in this box. I got a large box. But I did buy this, not for Bobby. I got this. I got this for me. So I want to see how this works. I'm tired of doing videos and it's dark in the car. So I got this, I bought that. And then, oops, that's not for Bobby. And then I bought this. So if I'm cooking or if I'm vlogging inside the car, um, like in the back, then I could use this because I do need a light. I bought one, but it didn't work for me. So I took that back today. And so this would be for the front when I'm in the front seat of my car at night because I don't know, I do a lot of my stuff in the evening. Okay, so I'm trying That's in my head, right? So let me see if I can set up this little, set this up, although it won't be plugged in because it's not charged, but I can at least use it for a little tripod. Oh, baby, baby. Mm -mm. I have my kids at the right time. Okay. Okay. Lord. That's making my nerves bad. Ooh. I do not know why I did not read the instructions. This made my nerves bad.
unfortunately in order to save space I let the air out of the bag of chips and I know the air is to protect the chips from you know breaking and blah 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 but I was fitting all that stuff up in that bag so I bit a little hole let the air out and then I put a piece of tape over the hole so it's all right they all go down the same oh my gosh I was starting to get nervous it was like playing Tetris trying to get everything into that one large box well it's the flat rate box I was squeezing that stuff up in there up in there so I let the air out of both bags of chips and put a piece of tape um, over them Help but to draw a little flower on her box. Okay, so I'm done. And then I was chatting with the post office women because they saw the little camera. I did take my time and I did look at the instructions, something I don't always do. So I did take my time to do that. So the day has escaped me. It is three o'clock. In my opinion, there's really no reason to go to the library so ah, I'll probably ooh, I need to eat something but I don't know what to eat see that's always my problem it's like I want to cook something and then I don't want to cook then I feel like it's too early to cook so I don't know then I need to go to storage. It's just like I need to do so many things and just getting around to doing them is the challenge. I need to go to the laundromat, but then I'll have to go to storage and get the rest of my things to wash. Oh Lord, so I don't know. And I have grades, tons and tons of grades to put in. Hmm. I don't know what to do. A burger sounds good, but then I feel like I can make my own burger. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that, that window gone. Ooh, low. All right, focus, Joy. I mean, do you ever have these problems? Where you just don't know what to do? That's where I am at the moment. All right, let me figure this out. Let's figure this out. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not in the mood for anything in particular to eat. But it's 3 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. Come on, Joy. Get with the program, girl. Get with the program. You see my little buddy? Hey, little buddy. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Give me a high five. Give me a high five, little buddy. High five. Okay. All right. Ooh, child. What should I get to eat, y'all? I don't... I don't know what to eat. Hmm. All right. And it's what it is. I don't feel like getting a whole bunch of ice. Then I, I need to get a, I need to get a fridge. That's what I need to get. But it's like I only need it for weekends because if I'm at school, I just eat at school before I leave and I'm straight for the rest of the day. See, that's where I'm, I'm torn. And then I'm like, ice and where I keep my cooler right now is not the best place, I will say. It's not the best, it's not the most convenient place to have access to the cooler. 
I know I need to eat something. Hmm. I don't know. There's a Jamaican spot across the, across the street. It's like sometimes I get tired of buying food. And then I don't want to cook. <laughs> so I'm at a I'm at a crossroads here. Mosquitoes been tearing me up, child. Tearing me up. Okay. Let me figure out what I'm gonna do when I get back to you. Okay, so I decided to go to a Chinese restaurant. So let's see, this says the reviews are good in this place. So I'm just gonna get something to go and hope for the best. to stay because I didn't want to have to deal with leftover food in the car and stuff so I just decided to come here and eat I'm using this new tripod. The only thing I don't like about it, it doesn't go up or down. So we'll see the quality of the sound and stuff. I'll let you know if it's worth it. Very good. She good. All right, y'all. Clean my hands in the car. I have all types of alcohol wipes. But honey, there's not like soap and water. I'll be back. I'll call you back later when my food comes out. I'll call you back. Mm. Okay, she's getting shrimp and her onion, honey. Let's see what she's getting. This is the moment I knew I messed up. Okay, 
the food was okay. Um, but the whole experience at that restaurant was ruined by actually the busser. The food was just okay. The wonton soup was good. This is China River. China River. China River on 1960. So something like my experience happened. You wonder, I wonder what else happens. So I was eating. I got the shrimp with broccoli with the brown sauce. Um, for me, it was a little too sweet. I'm more of a savory person. I didn't, I didn't want to have sweet food. But um, the rice was a little overcooked. And the shrimp, it kind of soft. I was starting to wonder, am I eating real shrimp? But anyway, it wasn't the worst. And I was hungry, so I was going to eat it. But what I saw turned me off from the entire experience. Because the busser, and it had nothing to do with my server, was nice, polite, just regular. But the busser dropped some silverware on the floor, you know, that they wrap up. And then he picked it up and put it back on the table. I was like, I know you lying. So like if it was so easy and casual for him to do that, what else goes on in that restaurant? So that was my point. It ruined the whole experience. And I wanted to, and I did say something to the server. She was like, oh, oh, he's, he's, he's for trash. He's for trash. And your point is what? He needs to learn that, the, no. That, do you know how unsanitary that is? But like, we don't know what goes on in restaurants in the back anyway. But that experience, it just turned me off. But I was still gonna eat my food, but I was hungry. And so, and I still tipped her, it had nothing to do with her, but it just made me wonder what else is going on in this restaurant for him to do that so casually and just, you know, it fell on the floor, let me put it back on the table. No. So I don't know if someone saw him or whatever, or cameras, I don't know. But then later he came back and, and took the silverware off the table. So I don't know if someone saw him later through the cameras or whatever. But still, it was already ruined for me. Ruined. Yeah, that that turned me off. So I will never be going back there at all. And plus I'm not in this area anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to, ladies going by. So I'm going to go into the thrift store right now. So some of my students were like, you have so many clothes, you buy, you buy a lot of clothes. I was like, no, I have a lot of clothes that I've saved that I take, you know, good care of. And I said, and I do thrift store shopping. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. And so they was like, oh. So I'm gonna go into the thrift store now just to see what jumps out at me. So I got some goodies from the thrift store. I could not help myself. So I can't wait to show you what I thrifted. And then although you spend, you know, minimal dollars on thrift store stuff, I don't know, I put myself, if it can't be thrown in the washing machine, I do take it to the cleaners. I did take one thing to the cleaners and the smell is still there. So when I go wash clothes, that thing go right in the washing machine. I just don't like the smell. It has a strong smell. Doesn't smell bad, but that's how I bought it. And it still smells that way. So it's not my smell. It's not my perfume. I don't know what it, what the smell is, but I just can't wear it. Even though I got it from the cleaners, I can't bring myself to wear it. So, child, I've been talking for a long time. I sure hope this thing was recording. Oh, oh, I be mad. I was going to town, y'all. Going to town. I was talking about my hair and this new growth. I don't know if you can see that. Look, that's all new growth. I'm sick of doing my hair. I can't wait to show y'all what I got from the thrift store. 
So that's when people think I spend a lot of money on clothes. I don't. I think I spent $45 in that store. I got a whole bag full, but I got to put my stuff in the cleanest. And I got something from the thrift store. I don't know what I said. And I got to wash it. So what I'm going to do, since the whole day has gotten away from me, I still got to at least do half of my grades. I at least got to get through half today and the other half tomorrow. It's like I set my mind to do certain things and I just don't do it. It's terrible. But I know I'm going to be hurting if I don't do put these grades in because grades are due on Monday morning and I just won't have the time. I won't have the time. Okay. So I'm going to go to this beauty supply store. I'm going to go to storage and then... I'm going to go to the gym, and I'll finish my evening there. I don't know. There's this one place I want to go. I want to check it out. You know, it's an adult place, but, you know, I'm supposed to have a squeaky clean, you know, social media. You know, like, sometimes they compare our backgrounds and what we do. They compare us to, like, a pastor, minister. Like, we're not supposed to do nothing. Like, you know, like, we, we per we're perfect, okay? So... I'm gonna see because you know sometimes I like it that don't soda. So anyway, um let me go in this hair store because I want to try something on this hair. And Bobby sent me a picture of what to what to buy. I'll call you back later. I do not know what happened with the rest of the day. Maybe I forgot to pick up the camera again, but this is how I spent the rest of my evening. My neighbor, mm -hmm, the lady whose house I park in front of, she brought me dinner and it was amazing. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you. Until next time, later.